So that's so your favorite piece of advice to give somebody who's already retired but not enjoying it then is is what once they get to you after yeah. they write the chapter. <laughs> Well, the, you know, the, they'd have to go back and figure out what, you know, kind of didn't work with the plan that they had. And, you know, you don't know that until you're until you're out for a while and you and you do experiment. Uh, but the first thing I like to emphasize is that it's normal to not ex be experiencing retirement in the hallmark version. So, if, if you know, I, I will always pick up retirement cards and read the messages. And there's so often, you know this idea you're going to just enjoy every day. It's, it's just a big vacation, no responsibility, nothing that I, I think they have that wrong. I encourage people actually go buy your own retirement card. Look for the message that speaks to you and that will help you understand how you want to experience retirement. I did that for myself and mine is um, dreams don't follow the clock. They follow the heart. And it's like that that's my retirement right there. Um, so, so the idea that it's normal to experience some, un, some dissatisfaction with retirement helps people to realize, oh, I'm not alone, because we often don't talk about it. Um, people will say, oh, it's great, it's great. But one person said to me, um, uh, uh, some days, she says, it's kind of like work. Some days I love it, some days I hate it. Um, so normalize. But you can't quit. I guess you could quit <laughs> retirement. Well, you could go do. back to work. Right. And, and I call that not quitting retirement. I kind of think of that as figuring out your retirement. Now, if you're going back in, if you're using work as just an escape, uh, if you're hiding out there, then, then um, that doesn't qualify. But if you uh, are making, your, my definition of retirement is what do you want to make yourself available to? So sometimes, yes, sometimes we have to let go of, what we know for sure and be willing to open ourselves up to, you know, what would I like to uh, be available to? Um, so the other thing though, with someone who's dissatisfied is to realize uh, not everything is broken. It's, you might not be feeling great about this, but let's kind of, this is where your 10 steps I think come in because you can look at those and see, okay, I'm doing all right in this area and this area and this area, but this is where I'm lacking. You know, if we can I break that down to a couple things, it's kind of like a treasure hunt. If we can break it down to those, now we know yeah. what we can focus on and um, take steps to, to bring that, whatever that is that we need into our life. It's not all broken. 